got another mission in store for you. I think you're gonna like it. Oh, we got a new student. Cut. Okay, today's mission, this week your mission is to explore the wonders of motion. Now you've already been doing that some whenever you study the motion at the plate boundaries and the, the uh, hot burning burning magma, magma coming up, <laughs> causing volcanoes. Kaboom! And then there's the earthquakes that shake and everything, all that motion. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. But you might not ever encounter any of that in your life. So I want you to know something about motion that you will. And that's something called speed, velocity, and acceleration. Those are going to be your missions today. What to do with velocity or drugs? Did you make a drug reference, AJ? Okay. You have to go touch the ribbon. Get up. <laughs> go there and touch that ribbon. All right. It's made a speed drug reference. What does it say? Put your finger on it. What does it say? Supporting? Yes. <laughs> yes. Free. <laughs> Stop. Yes. Supporting drug free kids. Sit down. Okay. So that first thing that we were talking about was speed, right? Just like on Top Gun. Okay. Kaylin, do you have gum in your mouth? No. What flavor is that gum? Uh. Answer me. <laughs> Cherry Coke. Nope. Trash flavor. Go throw it away. <laughs> Trash flavor. Okay, all right, so speed has a definition, basically. It's very simple. It's one of the first things when people start talking about motion, they talk about speed. They want to talk about how fast you want to go. Like, I want to go fast, Daddy! I want to go fast! If you're not first, you're last. That's right. Should I? Should I? <laughs> speed is the distance traveled divided by the time taken to travel the distance. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Basic definition there, speed has an equation. All right, I don't want you to panic, children. Don't panic, can you see me? There's a little bit of math content here. Now, I know y'all love math, but don't be that kid that just because you see me put a little math equation up there that you're like, no, no, Mr. Shaw, no, I won't do it. I'm here to help you and protect you. Don't be, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. All right, so here it is. Here's the equation. One of the most common basic ones you might see in math or science class. Here it is. Speed equals, what do you think the S stands for, Kaylin? Like. No. <laughs> um, speed. Speed, very good. Speed <laughs> equals, what do you think this D stands for? Oh, you gotta be careful when you ask this. What do you think the D stands for? Distance. Distance? Do y'all know what that means divided by? Yes. Yeah. What do you think the T stands for? Very good. Speed equals distance divided by time. That's it. Just three little variables there. No, you don't like mathematics, but I'm going to keep it simple. Three little variables are distance divided by time, and you can find something speed. This is kind of PG-13. For some reason, whenever I put this combination of letters on the board, eighth grade kids start to chuckle a little bit. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's so funny? What's the big deal about this combination of letters? You'll have to use your imagination. Um, but let me just say it this way. It's S-D-T, okay? It's S-D-T. If you do it the other way, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and you need to see a doctor. Distance is going to be 20 meters every single time. We've stepped off from the, right here to about where the basketball court cuts out over there. You'll see that's 20 meters. That's our distance. I'm going to need th three volunteers here. <sighs> Kaylin, what was my time? 15 minutes and 15 <laughs> seconds. Second. All right, so I got 15 seconds. Got 20 meters divided by 15 seconds. All right, next, go. 
A little faster, yeah, there you go. Like you're late to class. Like somebody's gonna yell at you. Like a teacher's gonna yell at you and cut. What was our time? Eight seconds that time. Good job, Kaylin. you did good. Okay, we got our sprinter now, our runner ready. Go! Here comes AJ. He's running, he's booking, he's moving back and forth, back and forth. Yeah! Four seconds. Nice. Round numbers. I love it. Good job, AJ. No pulled hamstrings, no nothing. You did better than me, that's for sure. Okay, so just to shorten things up here and make it a little faster. <laughs> faster, Kalen, pun intended. Uh, <laughs> 20 divided by 15 is 1.33. See, I had a calculator. You get to use a calculator, too, I when you're doing calculator. this. 1.33 what? What unit? Meters per second. Oh, AJ, good job. Meters per second. That's not too bad. That was my walk. That was my stroll. 1.33 meters every second. Dynamic. Amazing. Let's see. What was 20 divided by... 20 divided by 8. What was it? I don't know. I don't remember. 2.5. 2.5. It should be 2.5. Once again, meters per second. Good job, Kaylin. 2.5 meters per second. That was your fast walk. Like if the, uh, there's a teacher at break middle school or a middle school that would yell at a student because they're late. We're not going to use any names. Uh, but I think I know what's <laughs> up. 20 divided by 4, that's of course 5 meters per second. AJ has a speed of 5 meters per second. Wow. Not quite insane bolt fast, yeah. but it was pretty fast. So that's, that's how you do speed. It's so simple. It's just you plug and chug. Distance divided by time. Here was our distance. There was the time. Distance divided by time. It's easy as that when you're calculating speed. Huh? I said action. You said action. All right. Uh, I'm tired from all that walking. Hey, so we know, you now you know about speed. Yeah, it's just distance about about time. It's how fast you go, right? Now you know. know and knowing is half the battle. Gee, I know. Gee, I know that speed is distance about about time. Yes, AJ? That's the other half of the battle. Red lasers and blue la lasers. Yeah, that's my idea. Hey, um, all right, so there's another thing. There's another term I mentioned uh, called velocity. And people get that mixed up sometimes with speed. And that's okay. Because check this out. Here's your definition for velocity. Velocity of an object is the speed of the object and its direction. Yeah, that, that's the only difference. It's the same thing. The velocity, the velocity of an object is, is the speed, speed of, the of the object and direction of its motion. Yeah, it's that simple. Have you ever seen this movie? No. What movie is it from? Jurassic Park. Mm, yeah. World? No, it's from World. Jurassic Park. <laughs> I hate to even mention this, but it's kind of scary. But you know, with all this quarantine and stuff, and people really aren't out and about, I bet some of nature started to take over a little bit. I'm talking about velocity. <gasps> oh, I wonder. I'm. I'm gonna go take a look. But there, there was a creature that would sometimes visit my class. There was a kind of like what you just saw in Jurassic Park. Now listen, she, if she's out there, she d she responds to motion and sound. So be very, very quiet, Kaylin. Now you have a hard time with that. <laughs> and don't move or else you'll attract her attention, okay? So I'm gonna go take a look and see what I can find. We need the lights off because she's, she likes it that way, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, kids. It was just me. It was just me. I know you thought it was an actual dinosaur. That was my Velocity Raptor. She has a name. Sugar T. Yeah, she's not sweet, though. See how scary she was? Um, uh, we got her out of here, and now I'm back. Hey, did you notice some things about Sugar T? Did you notice her, her long, extended claws and forelimbs? It's a little different than my T-Rex. You want to see my T-Rex? Yes. Okay, it's my T-Rex. Okay, it's a little bit different, okay. A little shorter, a little shorter claws, all right? Um, can't even reach, couldn't even reach its, its own hands there. Okay, here we go. 
I'm not feigning a fart. That's my tail. That's my tail. Okay. All right. So the last characteristic of motion that I'm going to test you over, and I want you guys to know about today, is acceleration. Okay, now acceleration, most of you think you know a little bit about acceleration and you probably do, that's pretty cool. But here's your basic definition of acceleration. Acceleration is the change, change velocity divided by the time it takes for the change to occur. That's acceleration, the, the change in velocity. Hmm, what else? Oh, basically acceleration is any change in an object's motion. Any way that it can change motion, you would say it is accelerating. Yeah. And you'll need to know the three main ways an object can accelerate. If I were to accelerate this baseball, if I were to throw this baseball at your face, Kaylin, could you catch it? Yeah. That reminds me of a story. One time I did that and the girl didn't, she didn't catch it. She caught it with her face. Um, <sighs> When I say accelerating, what's the one thing that you think most people, you, your parents, most people probably think of if they say, hey, this thing's accelerating, it's? Increasing its speed. Yeah, increasing its speed, it's speeding up. It's going faster, daddy. Yeah, that's exactly right, but that's not all of it. No, there's more to it than that. That's only a third of the way right. Speeding up, that is one way an object can accelerate. Okay, so I got this baseball here. I'm gonna accelerate this baseball. Good job, Kalen. Did I accelerate? Hey, you accelerate that back on up here to me. Oh, yeah. Video and catching. I got skills to pay the bills. Hey, Jim, accelerate that ball out there towards you. Oh, yeah. Good job. Accelerate it back up here. Yes. Accelerating is speeding so up. So, when this object speeding up, is it changing its motion? Yeah. It's speeding up. It might be going from zero to, I mean, this car, I hit the gas pedal. Gas pedal. <laughs> Grab the wall. No, no, no. Anyway, um, it can accelerate that way. But any change in an object's motion is acceleration. Everybody who said speeding up, you were right, but you were only maybe a third of the way right because I got two other ways an object can accelerate. Speeding up is one. What's another one, AJ? Slowing down. Slowing down. Is that a change in motion? Yeah, that's a change in motion. So whenever I throw this baseball at Kayla. No, I can't get it. No. <laughs> Oh, it's right there. I got it, I got it. Got it? Okay. I know, I did that on purpose. All right, so if I accelerate this ball at AJ and speed it up with incredibly huge muscles in my arms and my delts and my triceps and stuff, I'm gonna accelerate it. But did he just change the motion too? Yes. Yeah, he stopped it, didn't he? He slowed it down. That is acceleration also. I just spat. So excited. You guys are in the splash zone, by the way, okay? So once you accelerate that back up here to me, you, oh! And then I stopped it, I changed this motion too. So speeding up and slowing down, huh? All right, so I'm gonna say slowing down, that's also acceleration. That's kind of crazy, not many people know that. You might even share that with your, uh, your, your friends, your parents, your pets, whatever. Let them know that uh, slowing down is also acceleration. Now, some people say decelerate. I don't love that term. Uh, there's actually a more mathematical way to describe it. If we got into this more, and I talked about the equation for acceleration, you would see if an object speeds up, like a school bus from zero to 60, now they don't accelerate very fast, so do they? School bus doesn't. But um, if it speeds up from zero to 60, no matter how you shake it, it's always gonna have a positive acceleration. It's always gonna have a positive number. Now, if you slow down, you plug those numbers in, guess what you get? Negative. You get a negative number. Oh, that's right. You guys are so smart. Check out the big brain on you guys. So, actually, you could say, if you are leaving a stop sign, you could tell your mom, Hey, mom, why are we out of the house? It's quarantine. But no, if you were, <laughs> you could say, Hey, mom, did you know that you are positively accelerating away from the stop sign? And she would go, oh, my baby's so smart. Look how smart my baby is. And then when you slow down, when you're approaching a stop sign, you change your, you change your motion. That's acceleration. You could say, well, actually, you are negatively accelerating now. 
How would your mom react, Caitlin? Would she be excited? Would she She'd be like, be like she'd be not surprised. You? She wouldn't be, because you're still smart. I, some kids said that their parents might be like, you think you're better than me? I'm going to positively accelerate my hand to your backside. Think you're smarter than me with all your book learning, your acceleration talk. I hope that doesn't happen to you kids. I know it won't because you have amazing parents and you're super duper smart. Uh, speeding up, slowing down, but there's a third way. There's a third way that I could change the motion of my base. All right, so we know that whenever I speed up and then we slow down, that's acceleration. All right, accelerate back up here positively. Boom, negative acceleration right there. But did you notice another change in this object's motion? Did it travel in a straight line when it left my hand? No. What did it do? Curve. It curved, didn't it? What force made it curve? That's going to be mission uh, next week. What force made it curve? Um, gravity. See it, but you know it's there. It's gravity. Oh, gravity, yeah, for sure. We know here on planet Earth. But it changed its motion when it curved or turned. And guess what the third way is? Uh huh. The third way to accelerate is <laughs> going down. Where my where my purple? Here it is. Turning. Oh. I'm gonna keep it real simple and say turning, and I can't calculate turning, but turning is the third way. All right. So talking about speed up, I remember when I was a little Gregor, there was this joke or whatever that I would always do. It was a guy named Chubby. Let me introduce you to Chubby. Right? Uh, Chubby was this little fat kid, and he'd be on a motorcycle or whatever, and he'd be like, Hi, my name, name is Chubby. Chubby. My, my friends, friends call, call me Chubby. Chubby. <laughs> and my mama called me Chubby. And one day I was on the motorcycle with my daddy, and I said, Speed up, daddy! Possibly accelerate. <laughs> Speed up, daddy! Speed up! And then he did, and he was too fast, and I said, Slow down, daddy! Slow down! <laughs> Hi, my name is Chubby. Hi, my name is Chubby. My mom called me Chubby. My mom called me Chubby. <laughs> my friend called me Chubby. My friend called me Chubby. Hey, one time I was on the motorcycle with my daddy. One time I was on the motorcycle with my daddy. And I said, speed up, daddy, speed up. I said, speed up, daddy, speed up. And he did, and then I said, slow down, daddy. <laughs> That's all I got. Speed, velocity, and acceleration. Three very important factors of motion. And you got to know them because next week we're going to talk about forces. That's what makes the motion happen. Forces. Yeah. So um, I'd like to thank my, my assistants, Kalen and AJ and Mission Control and all its beauty. Thank you for Wait, saying to well, Hit the well first. Well. <laughs> all right. Thank y'all for playing. We'll see you later. Bye. That was pretty good. Good job, kids. Oh, AJ, stand up. Okay. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Yeah, Goose Maverick. <laughs>